Welcome to the 10th episode of the video series on CDP4, where I will explain the purpose of catalogs and why they are so useful. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll connect to a server, open a session, and then open a model, in this case, the demo model that we've built in the previous episodes. And I'm just going to oops, show that one to you, where we uh, defined all these building blocks or element definitions, and we did that uh, basically uh, piece by piece. So we created an element definition, added a mass parameter, did the same thing for the reaction wheel. But of course, if you have to define many element definitions, that becomes rather tedious very fast. So it's of course a lot better if you can have predefined building blocks, whether they are generic definitions of what it means to be a battery or an equipment with many different kinds of parameters, or whether you have a library of existing components that you use in the design of the kinds of systems that you uh, would build with the CDP. So quickly go and show that product tree again so that we're all on the same page of what our space mission looks like. So a space mission with a satellite with two batteries and four reaction wheels. So in order to speed up the design, but also to benefit from the fact that we're doing work model-based and that we can reuse work that we've done in the past, we're going to open up another engineering model, which I've prepared before. It's something that I call the generic catalog, um, which is an engineering model of type uh, model catalog. And I'm going to open that one up. And let's let it load the data. And what you'll see is that when I open the element definitions of that model, you see that I have two element definitions prepared a generic equipment that has a number of parameters defined, all owned by system, but no value defined as of yet, and a space, a space battery, which is owned by power, which has a number of parameters defined with values and owned by different domains of expertise. So here you also see that even though the space battery is owned by power, another domain expert is also allowed to say something about what it means to be that battery, in this case, its coordinates, uh, and that would typically be done by the configuration expert or that domain expert that is responsible for creating a 3D model of this system. So what I'm going to show you is that there are different ways to copy this building block to our target model. Um, and the first one is something we call a dry copy. And then I just simply drag and drop the building block from my catalog to my target model. And what you see here is that I have that building block with all the parameters uh, the same way as they were in the, uh, the catalog. But what you see is they don't have values and they are now all owned by system. Because in this model, I logged in representing the system engineering domain of expertise. So that's already a big benefit. And if I just wanted to have a space battery owned by system with no values, ju just the structure, that would already be a big advantage. Not entirely what I wanted to have right now but at least, at least already a good step in the right direction. So what I'm actually interested in is actually also keeping the values of all the parameters of this space battery. So the way to do that is to drag and drop using the control key on my keyboard. So I control drag and drop. And what you see now is that I have a space battery still owned by system. All the parameters are also owned by system, but now I've also copied the parameter values across. So already a big step forward so it's easy to keep or let's say to create an element definition based on something that already exists in another model so the next thing i'm going to show is that that i can do the same but what i want to do now is uh, not keep the values but keep the ownership of these uh, parameters so i'm going to create a building block on behalf of power and those parameters on behalf of configuration and power so that i do by shift dragging so here again, my space battery uh, with the same structure, no values, but the ownership has been maintained uh, the same way that it was in the source model. And then we have the fourth and final way to do this, and that is to keep the ownership, keep the structure, uh, let's say keep the ownership of the source, keep the structure, of course, but also keep values. And that we do by shift, control, drag and drop. So now, I have a element definition with all the parameters defined, 
the ownership has been maintained and as you see the values have been maintained as well and they are ready to be published so now if I go to the publications dialog of my demonstration model I publish them and now I have an easy way to create a lot of building blocks uh, keeping ownership and values or not if you want if that makes sense to you but at least a very fast way to do this and since this is basically a normal model with a couple of limitations for instance catalogs don't support creating iterations because that doesn't make sense in the case of a catalog but I can create as many things as I think are necessary and copy them across to a target model um, and that's it for now. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again sometime soon.